What's going on, y'all? St. Piper here, aka Black Native. I'm feeling real good today. It's been a very productive day for me. It's beautiful outside, but that's enough about me. How you doing? Good? All things working for your good? That's good. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, all things working for mine as well. Thanks for asking. Welcome back to another episode of Universe 101, the educational series where we break down the universe piece by piece, part by part, so we can better understanding and use that understanding to enhance our lives as well as our environment. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. That'll make you a black native. A black native is a complete being, someone who is deliberately taking action to master every aspect of themselves. If you're already a black native, thank you for subscribing. If you want to show your appreciation for this video, just leave a like. If you have anything you want to say, leave it down in the comment section. I love reading the comments. They help me out a lot. They encourage me and they give me a new perspective. If you know someone out there may benefit from this as much as I believe someone may benefit from this information, you can share this video with them. You're always welcome to do that. But getting straight into it, we got universal law number seven today, cause and effect, and this law is mutable. Okay, if you're new to the channel, a mutable law is a law that can be mastered, transcended, you can overcome it. There's a different way around it. You can experience existence a way without uh, experiencing the law uh, necessarily. An immutable, an immutable law is never changing, is everlasting, is forever, and it can't be transcended. All right. So cause and effect today, universal law cause and effect is mutable. It can be over uh, over. Uh, let's say you can beat it. <laughs> let's put it like that. There's a way around it. First, it states that every cause has an effect and vice versa. Every effect has a cause. Every cause has an effect. Every effect has a cause, right? Nothing happens for nothing. Straight up. You know, if something happens, it's for a reason. That was some intent. That was some action. That was something that made it happen, that created it, right? I was created by my parents. My parents were created by their parents. And my children are going to be created by me. That's not just uh, something that's unique to people or living uh, beings. That's actually how energy works period all right moving on every effect manifested in the outside physical world has uh its origins in the mental realm all right or in our inner world right so when you're thinking about anything that you manifested a car a house uh, if you uh wrote a song if you did anything creative in your life then you know it started with a thought it also had some emotion behind it 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 started in your inner world all right nothing that is actually physically uh, concrete uh, in this physical realm just happened. It came from the mental realm at least. It at least came from the mental realm, all right? Moving on. Everything we think, feel, or do sets a specific, right? A very specific effect in motion, all right? So anything that you think, feel, or do has power. It is energy. Your thoughts are energy. Your feelings, your emotions are energy and you, definitely your actions take energy and are energy. And anything that uh, anything, any one of those things that you do will actually set something in motion. Right. It will set the process of the creation of something in motion in order for it to manifest physically. For instance, if you feel a certain way about something, right, that's going to that feeling is going to have you create thoughts and images and those images on a going to create more emotion and emotion feeling and thoughts right ideas right they're going to actually perfect uh they're actually going to affect you because you're going to perceive your reality based upon those emotions and thoughts right based upon those feelings and ideas you are actually going to interact with your environment based off of those that's like when you have principles uh religious beliefs or uh, a way of life a lifestyle right you interact and um manage your relationships based upon the way you perceive life right so when you feel something that's not just a feeling that's energy that's fuel for something if you think something it's not just a thought that's energy that's fuel for some kind of project, right? Luck does not exist. Luck doesn't exist at all. Why? Because the cause and effect law says that everything has a cause and every uh, cause has an effect. So that's always a reason. That's always a deliberate, intentional action or effort or energy invested 
or you utilize in order to create anything. So if you walk across and you find $20 outside, you just taking a walk, you find $20, your thoughts, you're in a mindset of sublime wealth. You're in a mindset of effortless abundance. That's your thoughts. That's the way you feel. You're probably feeling real good. You're probably walking around feeling real good. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you find those hundred dollars and you was like, God, I just need some money. I can't pay this. I got to pay this. I could just really use some cash right now. Those thoughts manifested that twenty dollars. Right. It's not that just it fell out somebody's pocket, because honestly, when you find money, you don't see people lose money. If you see somebody lose money and you pick it up. That's not finding it. That's stealing. All right. Shh, don't, I ain't going to tell on you, but that's stealing, man. So, but think about it. Every time you find money or something or come across some kind of look, you don't know how it happened. It just happened, right? It's a miracle. It manifested, right? It's lucky. Wrong. It's not lucky. You did it somehow. It could be a team effort too. That's what I like about cause and effect, right? The mastermind uh, theory. All right. So this is a mutable law. And I gave you the basic guidelines of this law, right? Everything has a cause. Every effect has a cause and every cause has an effect. Uh, everything in our physical world was manifested. It has its origins in the mental or inner world of us, right? Everything that we think, feel, or do affects our outside world because those parts, those thoughts, feelings, uh, and actions uh, are actually going to be the cause for anything that happens, right? And luck does not exist. All right, going on to mutable mastery because this is a mutable universal law. So I'm going to teach you the way to overcome it and actually ascend higher in, in consciousness, right? And actually use your energy to transcend this law. You don't have to experience cause and effect. And this is how, right? We There's existence on all three planes, right? This this We exist on all three planes, spiritual, mental, and the physical realm. However, the spiritual plane cause and effect is in instantaneous so so what i'm saying this is cause and effect is instantaneous on the spiritual realm so it looks inseparable right it is inseparable on a on a on a spiritual realm on a spiritual realm is all inseparable all right so we exist on all three planes us as as, as beings we are spiritual we are mental and we are physical all right and we have our origins in the energetic realm right but on the spiritual realm in particular, the cause and effect law is instantaneous. So when you think about ascended masters, when you think about archangels, uh, still helping positive loving angels, you think about uh, deities that people uh, are involved with. Maybe they deal with demons. Uh, you think about witches, warlocks, sorcerers, uh, voodoo uh, masters. You think about... Uh, high priestess and all of these other different things, right? They are using spiritual things to make stuff happen faster. Magicians, right? That's not physical power that they're using. They have overcome the law of cause and effect by actually living in a spiritual realm and understanding it and overstanding it and manipulating it, right? Whereas you manifest things, right? Like prayer, meditation, work real hard, Stay on it, then boom, it's here, right? Like maybe two weeks later, maybe, you know, if you're real fast, a day later. These beings that I just explained to you, they live in the spiritual realm. They operate at a higher level, at a higher vibration, right? They're using spiritual uh, works. So that means when in that spiritual realm, things cause and effect happen instantaneously, right? I can make this ball disappear right now. I can give you a million dollars right now. I can give you fame right now. Right. I can cure your disease right now. That's how they work. Why is it so different for the us in the spirit, in the physical and mental realm? Because in the spiritual realm, time and space does not exist. Time and space does is not real. Time and, and space is mutable. Right. So when you're outside of time and space, you can make things happen right now. And like I said, what are what are things outside of time and space? You got all of these elemental beings and spiritual warriors and uh, high level beings, right? They are outside of time, time and space, which means they can be here and there uh, today and tomorrow all at the same simultaneously, right? They can be here, there, today and tomorrow 
simultaneously. They omnip um, uh, omnipotent, omnipresent. They can move like that, right? So that's how you master cause and effect. Become more spiritual. Do your best to to try to ascend and get out of this uh, low nature vibration. Do your best to be your best self. Uh, live on your life path and complete your soul's mission. Experience eudaimonia. Um, really elevate yourself. Be more enlightened. Uh, use your psychic abilities. Know who you really are. Um, pay off your karmic death. debt. That's, that's, that's a lot for us to do. And it's bigger than just making $100 and buying, uh, buying our mamas a house and it's bigger than that, man. I'm, I'm showing you how we can become the greatest versions of ourselves. The reason we still here on earth and keep incarnating is because we are not our highest selves. So this is just a little guide. This is just a little help. St. Piper here, a.k.a. Black Native. If you want to become a Black Native, all you have to do is subscribe. S-A-I-N-T-P-I-P-E-R. That's my... Uh, profile on YouTube again S A I N T P I P E R one word all right uh you can follow me on there but yeah definitely thank y'all for stopping by share this with somebody leave a like um and I'm just so glad I could be here to help y'all out love y'all peace